Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got a review for you this week. It ain't anything fancy, it's just another Pony Life, and we'll be reviewing Pony Life Season 1, Episode 35. Uh, episode title, The Rarity Report, and The Great Divide. In the Rarity Report, Rarity worries that she... Sorry, Rarity worries that the spectacular spectacular is no place for an indo, indoor pony. And in the Great Divide, the main six are pitted against each other in the final match of the spectacular spectacular. So, uh, I think first impressions are in order. And... Uh, give me a second. <laughs> yes, um, first impressions are in order. And yeah, uh, for the rarity report, this is one of those um, episodes where it, you got a pony who's not really into sports and somehow is there for moral support for the team. And yeah, um, it seems that everybody's partaking in some kind of event except for rarity. And she's there, she's just there to have fun and whatnot. And from what I can tell, it's, it's, it's a really fun, um, episode or, yeah, it's a really fun episode where you just get to see Rarity do her thing. What is that thing? We'll find out sooner or later. So, uh, let's hop into it. If you have not watched this episode, pause here. <coughs> Welcome back. So, we start off the episode with a reporter reporting on the main six. Not specifically the main six. It's just that they're outside and they're the only ponies there. So, we get to see a glance of Applejack weightlifting apples. That's a thing. Twilight uh, levitating a huge book. Um, just imagine uh, the, for the fairly odd parents' Darul book. Uh, Fluttershy, uh, Rarity are uh, just sitting there looking concerned at Rainbow Dash who's doing a Sonic startup run and Pinkie Pie recording it. So um, we see the reporter um, taking a look-see at the main six and uh, him going up to Applejack and asking her uh, what's your training regimen and whatnot and uh, going to Fluttershy who shrinks because she's nervous because there's a camera pointed at her and then uh rarity takes over because well uh she has the gift of the gab and she breaks down what applejack does she trains on her farm uh for to prepare for the event of for today fluttershy has been training her um uh, thing from uh, being small to becoming really huge and putting on a game face which is scary with that body so um, the reporter thanks Rarity for the save and uh, the reporter asks Rarity uh, what would you be participating in the event and Rarity says ah, nah, uh, I ain't joining any event because I'm mostly an Indo pony I'm here just to support or just to give support to my fellow competitors or my friends then rarity sorry and then rainbow dash comes up and tells rarity yeah uh, i signed you up for uh fencing and rarity's like wait what well, what did you do like uh no i i'm not good at that rainbow dash says wait what you're not good but your resume says you're you're great at it and Rarity has to explain that that stage fighting, um, like part of a play, like uh, if it's choreographed, I'm good at it. But for reals, I'm not great at it at all. And with that, um, Rarity summons her, summons her fainting couch and faints. Oh, dearie. So um, Rarity here kind of wallows a bit because every pony there is participating in something and 
Rarity is the only uh, pony one out. So the girls try to cheer her up by saying, Oh, uh, you, you can join us. I mean, uh, you, you can partake in any other sports. And Rarity just says, I'm not really a sports pony. The last time I uh, tried to partake in a sport, it was called basketball. I brought my basket to the ball and somehow I got trampled by other players moving around with a ball and shooting it at a uh, endless basket or bottomless basket. Oh, I do not understand it and I totally am peeved at it. And that is a smart joke. That is a smart joke. Basketball. <laughs> like, Rary thought it was a ball instead of a ball. <laughs> uh, it's a play on words. English, people. English. So, the the girls say, yeah, I mean, that, that was a flop. But, I mean, uh, there's other things there. Like, um, trampolining. Or, uh, curling. Or even cloud diving oh I mean I don't know and there's one that Rarity sees that interests her that's debating or freestyle debating um, she's about to sign up and one of the official stamps a cancel sign saying that it was cancelled due to uh, not much interest in it so yeah that, that sucks on her part so right now She's, she's she's a bit sad and doesn't have an event to participate in until she realizes that there is something that she can participate in. And I'm going to pause here and, well, give my thoughts a bit. So yeah, uh, the introduction of the episode was pretty cool. We get to see a, f- a few new characters from the cameraman to the reporter. And also another reporter named Karen. We have we, we don't see her looks yet, but still, um as for the reporter, he looks like a zebra. That's really interesting. But anywho, uh we get to see um some of the pony's strong points. Um funny enough we get to see only um <clears throat> what uh, I think I may be skipping, but yeah, we get to see uh Applejack, Twilight and Rainbow Dash and I mean there, there's a few I'm I'm kind of derping here but anyway um, we, we get to see some of the girls athletic prowess except for Rarity who doesn't really play sports uh, she's more of a indoor ponies as she say and what do you mean by indoor ponies uh, for me personally in my personal opinion I think that could be um, just doing normal stuff as in reading, watching soap opera, sewing, that's her job kind of deal, and all of the other indoor activities that sh- one would have do done. Uh, I mean, uh, she's in the cyber age, so probably playing with her phone and updating her social networks with it will be one of them. Yes. So... <clears throat> Uh, let's continue on. So after realizing that she does have something that she can do, we see the main six head into the stadium where we see the reporter trying to interview DJ Pong Tree or Vinyl. And the, uh, the reporter asks Vinyl, uh, what would, you, uh, what are you participating in? And the uh, vinyl here just does some kind of disc jockey thing and whatnot. And Rarity has to step in and kind of save the day. And Rarity interprets uh, the uh, sorry, uh, Rarity interprets what vinyl's saying. So vinyl, sorry, Rarity just asks vinyl, "What would you be DJing for today's event?" And vinyl just does a pose with a Vinyl disc? I'm not sure if that what you call them, vinyl disc. So anyway, um, she just poses for vinyl and it's uh, Rarity imported, interprets it as oh, she'll be participating in the discus throwing event. So yay, uh, she's kind of doing 
the reporter's job kind of thing and yeah that's cool a reporter thanks Rarity for saving his bacon and just uh, ask like if she could assist the reporter in reporting and yay now she is a co-anchor so yay that's cool that's really cool on her she she at least get to do something and participate in the event in her own shape uh, in her own ways and she's really good at it too yeah uh, not really over um, shadowing the reporter but still uh, she's doing her part and with that that's the end of the episode yay so um, next up is <coughs> the great divide so in the great divide the main six yeah i, I think i really um, mentioned this so uh, first impressions yes this one oh boy ah, this this one is very interesting in terms of the setup uh so it it's it it kind of skips a few things at the very beginning where the girls are just hanging around uh laying about uh, i'm guessing that they finished doing what they needed to do or what they did uh, and that i mean they are generally just resting up from uh, sports activities so now they're just hanging out and the final event is buckball and this is one of those things where i am so confused with what the dealio is yo <laughs> because it's, uh, bug ball is played in trees but what they're showing here is playing in twos and mm, this this really mm, it's mm, it, how do i put this i i know why because uh more more drama and whatnot but it's kind of an established thing where where you play bug ball you have to have at least three players of different races uh, or species so that's earth pony pegasi and unicorns and having the team divided into two makes no particular sense in how the game is going to play be played so anyway ah uh, yes uh, let's hop right into it <clears throat> so we start off the episode with the girls hanging about having um reminisce about fun and whatnot and just getting excited to play with uh <laughs> just getting excited to be on a team uh participating in events and uh rainbow dash says this is a lot of fun and she reminisced about uh having uh friendship flashbacks and whatnot uh from campfires to uh the girls having fun at the uh r lake river i mean lake i think this was previous episodes probably like that so yeah th this is a lot of fun or what they did is a lot of fun so uh <laughs> rainbow dash kind of um breaks out of her daydream because the event's about to start so uh the six of them head up to the field getting ready to get into the game uh, Fluttershy here has been really practicing her game face on a little too aggressively might might add like she wants to crush the competition break their bones and make sure that they have no way to walk Ooh, Fluttershy you're mean <laughs> like Fluttershy in this series is really mean so they head up to the uh, what you call this uh, play field and the referee tells the girls to uh, line up and they are going to pair them up or something like that so uh, the girls be, uh, the, the girls don't really want to do it because they want to stick as a team but somehow the referee managed to well yeah, the, the referee managed to kind of spoil their plans even after Rainbow Dash um, kind of 
um, <laughs> like how to put this, even after Rainbow Dash uh, devised a plan where the six of them will be on a team. But nope, nope, nope. Uh, they are paired up in twos. So uh, the girls are lined up with the other ponies and somehow uh, the girls are paired up in this way. Uh, let me see if I can get a shot of it. Uh, sorry folks, just trying to get see who is who now. Okay, uh, we see that Oh, man, the trash pony is with one of the golf ponies. Um, Fluttershy, sorry, uh, Pinkie Pie is with Rainbow Dash, Snips and Snails, Twilight and Fluttershy. Two are the other uh, golf ponies, Applejack and Rarity. And yeah, they're paired up that way. So, I mean, it's not that bad. I think. Oh, am I getting it wrong? I feel like I'm getting it wrong. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let, let's properly see this. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now we're now. Now. Okay. Now I, I was mistaken. So the pairing is this: uh, Trash Pony is with Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy is with Snails, Rainbow Dash is one of, is one with one of the Golf Ponies, uh, Applejack is with the other Golf Ponies, Rarity is with Snails. And Twilight is with another golf pony. And now they have to face off. The girls don't really feel like playing because they don't really want to play against each other. And they're, they have a conflict of not going against their teammates. And yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's kind of, um, how did it put this? Uh, it kind of put a damper on the main sixes plan, but yeah, uh, the, once the game starts, episode ends. So we got no idea, but <clears throat> I have to say that, uh, the episode is kind of a continuation. Like we got the last part last week. Or last episode where we saw uh, Flutter Dash participating and it continues on to this week. So we have an overarching episode which is kind of cool. Uh, it's rare that we get those nowadays with Pony Life. But still, it's, it's fun, it's fun. Uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah, to know the result, that's going to be next week. So, um, final thoughts. <clears throat> For the Rarity Report. The Rarity Report is an interesting episode. The moral, I think, is to play at your strength. Um, if you're not great at one thing, try to find another thing that you can do to at least participate. Um, if you're not good at sports, maybe you can do something else. Uh, maybe you can be the um uh I, I think what mc master of ceremonies no um a commentator or something like that i mean there is a lot of other things that you can do and rarity has decided to pick up being a reporter or a anchor something like that so she's doing that which is kind of cool which is kind of cool playing up to her strengths uh, in the uh, Great Divide, that one is a bit of a, <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a, what you call this, tizzy because <clears throat> he, how would I put this? Uh, the, the, the episode tries to, huh, how do I put this? Like, I'm trying to find, or I'm trying to think, what is this episode's gimmick? Because, uh, sh there's there's this division that oh man, like the main six are split up into twos and not playing with each other, so they're fighting with each other now. So, um, they're they and the girls don't want to um go against each other, and 
it's hmm, how do I put this? It's one of those things. To, uh, sorry, is this the, the episode kinds of uh hmm how oh, man the episode shows that the main six doesn't want to fight each other, but there has been history where the girls don't mind uh competing with each other, and I remember right even in Pony Life they do that too. So this is one of those things where I feel like it's a bit of a miss that they don't play on the competitive aspect of the girls, especially with Rainbow Dash, where she wants to win at everything. And man, I, I don't know. I mean, for this one, it feels like it's setting up for next week's thing where I feel like the girls will just fight with each other and try to uh, win because of their competitive nature. But for this one and what we got here, it's kind of a setup episode for next week. And it's just, eh, not the greatest. So yeah, uh, that's, the, uh, that's, the, <laughs> that's the episode for this week. So yeah, it, it's kind of a short one, 11 minutes by the way, as per usual. And it was an okay series. I mean, it was a setup for what's coming next. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, let's wrap this up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mhgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The, tw- the show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, uh, do subscribe to the Review in Discussion podcast on i. No, no, no. You're listening to that now. Aha. Uh, bad habits. Anyway, uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master of Like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!